Okay. So first, share the slide. So hello, everyone. Uh, you hello, have... hello. You have slide in the chat. I'll share my screen. Okay, one second. Okay, everyone can see. Yes, as you can see. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's start. Okay, so welcome again. This our second lecture. Uh, this time we have two topics. So botnet takedown and online safety. So uh, continuing from last week, we discuss how police and uh, security researcher, they find botnet, how they dismantle it, how they take it down. We then explain how to keep yourself and your relatives safe online. This because last week, a lot of people asking questions about this. Uh, and then we'll finally discuss how to keep Royal Thai police safe from hacker and criminal, uh, internet criminal. So like anytime, just ask questions if you need, okay? Just stop me anytime. So this you already know is introduction from last week, same thing. So let's talk about back to botnet. So continuing from last week, you remember, Botnet, our network of robot. Robot or bot can be any internet connected device, like router, uh, like your, uh, your smartphone, uh, like a smart TV, anything that has computer inside can be hacked. And if you are hacked and if you have smart TV at home, maybe you've been hacked and you don't know. And maybe your smart TV or your router, part of botnet. If you remember, we discussed botnet are used for denial of service attack, other malicious activity, cryptocurrency mining, etc., stealing data. And if you remember, botnet are controlled by command and control server. So. You probably remember this slide from last week. So here we have attacker, botnet master, operator. Here we have victim, can be, for example, uh, Lazada website. And here is the command and control server. And this is the bot. So like your router, smart TV. And so that uh, botnet attacker does not need to control each bot individually. They use the command and control server to send order, right? You remember this and then the bot attack Lazada. So how to take down botnet? There are three main ways. There are more, but these are the three main ways. First one is identify the command and control server. So find this. 
and take it down. If you take this down, then the bots are free. They cannot be controlled. How to take it down? Well, remember this. We talked last week. I show you this website that showed Thailand number 11 in command and control server. And then here you can see that, let me try to make this Uh, okay, see if this work. So here you see that the, you have IP address and TOT, IP address Chastel, IP address AIS, IP address True. This is command and control server, IP address. So you know IP address, you know company that it belong to. So you as police, you can go to TOT and say this IP address is performing criminal activity. So because you are police, they have to take it down. So they know who the customer is, they know who this customer is, so they can go and, and cut the customer out of service. So they can find, they can, uh, the police can go to TOT, to just tell AIS true, et cetera, and ask them, to remove the command and control server. So, sorry, teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, TOT AS and two is a uh, mo mobile control. Every e everyone in Thailand in mobile. Why why they don't check botnet? Well, um, so there are two, two things. So one, uh, maybe they are checking. Uh, and because if you see the website, this website, I show you last time, this from same day, right? 28, I show you on day one of June. And this from uh, uh, 28, from 28. So maybe they check botnet every week, maybe. I don't know, but maybe they don't check. And why? Because expensive to check because they don't know, uh, or maybe because you know they are a company, they need to make money. They don't want to spend money. They don't care if criminal activity occur, if no one says, right? But if you as police, go to them and say there's criminal activity you need to stop, they will stop. But if you don't, maybe because they don't want to spend money, they don't care. Or three, maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't uh, know this site. Maybe they don't know that criminal activity happening on their network. So it can be any of this reason. Thank you, sir. Welcome. So, this is uh, one way, like I say, identify command and control server and then take it down. So remove command and control. Number two, find and arrest operator of botnet. Okay, so let's go back to this picture and say that uh, bots are in Thailand. So your router, your smart TV, your friend router, etc., all part of botnet in Thailand. But command and control server is in Cambodia or Vietnam. This can happen. Command and control server can be anywhere. So crime happening in Thailand, but criminal in Cambodia or Vietnam. So Royal Thai Police does not have jurisdiction on Cambodia or Vietnam. So they cannot uh, go to Cambodia or Vietnam uh, uh, true, let's say true in Vietnam, and tell them to take uh, uh, command and control offline. So usually they need to talk to Vietnamese police, to uh, Cambodia police, and ask them to help. And uh, maybe sometime they don't care, they don't want to help, or maybe sometime they want to help, but they don't have resource. They don't know how. 
So that's why number two is very difficult to find in the REST operator of botnet. And then we have number three, uh, which is the one used by uh, people like me, another security hacker. So if you remember from last week, when a attacker create botnet, they put a program payload in the bot, right? So they can control, they need to run program in, the, in here. So maybe sometime attacker want to turn off the botnet. Maybe they are afraid that police chasing them. So they want to uh, remove botnet so that they cannot be proved that they are owner of botnet. So to do this, the botnet attacker put something in the botnet program called kill switch. this kill switch. What is kill switch? Kill switch is something that attacker can say to the bot, just die. So let's say this your router and your smart TV hacked part of botnet. Maybe a police chasing hacker. So you want to remove uh, evidence. So you just say, okay, disappear from smart TV and router and then your smart TV and router, they keep working. You know, they never stop working even when they were bought, but they, they, they don't do attack for attacker anymore. So this is called skill switch. They can turn off and then everything back to normal. And sometime uh, people like me or police investigator, they can find the kill switch. And here, Maybe I think most of you won't understand the code, but this is kill switch uh, for WannaCry uh, botnet code. Okay. So what's happening here is that is looking for this URL. You see www and then a lot of character. Does not make sense. But when bot start, they check if this URL exists. If this URL exists, the bot stop working and that's it, done. If the URL don't exist, bot is active. So kill switch is the URL. And if I, for example, I look at botnet code and I find this, then I can register this URL. You can pay maybe 500 baht to get URL and then I make it working and then I turn on kill switch for botnet and then I kill the botnet. So Tom, I'm not sure how much they understand. Okay. นักเรียนถามก่อนว่าที่พูดไปเมื่อกี้เข้าใจมั้ยถ้าเกิดเข้าใจพิมพ์ <coughs> 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 โอเคครับเดี๋ยวอธิบายต่อจากพิมพ์มาก่อนอยากรู้เหมือนกันว่าเพอร์เซพชั่นของคนในห้องเมื่อกี้ที่เรียนไปโอเคแอมอาร์
ช่อันนี้คืออันนี้อันอันนี้คือวิธีอ่ะใช่หาจับกลุ่มแต่ประเด็นคือบัตเน็ตบัตเน็ตมันจะได้รับคําสั่งอ่ะเมื่อกี้เห็นไหมจะมีคนสั่งคือหัวหน้าใหญ่สมมตินะแล้วก็มีคอมคอนโทรลแอนด์คอมแมนใช่ไหมแล้วก็มีบัตเน็ตแล้วก็ส่งมาที่เครื่องเราใช่ไหมบัตเน็ตอ่ะคือตัวของพวกเราที่โดนใช้ในการไปไปไปไปก่อจะอาชญากรรมเช่นมาเราเตอร์ต่างๆนะงั้นเราต้องมีไปหาคอมแมนด์แอนด์คอนโทรลคอมแมนด์แอนด์คอนโทรลบางทีอยู่ที่ประเทศเพื่อนบ้านเช่นเวียดนามพม่ากัมพูชาจีนอเมริกาอย่างนั้นแต่มันมาทําลายมันมาก่ออาชญากรรมในประเทศเราโดยการใช้บัตเน็ตคือตัวพวกเราอ่ะเราเตอร์ของพวกเรามาทําอาชญากรรมวิธีนี้ก็จะมีปัญหาคือว่ามันจะมีจูริสจูริสติกชันคือขอบเขตอำนาจของพนักงานสอบสวนหรือตำรวจได้แค่ในราชอาณาจักรเมื่อต้นกําเนิดมาจากประเทศอื่นก็ต้องประสานงานไปนั้นมันจะเกิดความยุ่งยากอย่างความยุ่งยากทางด้านใดบ้างเช่นความยุ่งยากที่แบบว่ารัฐบาลต่างประเทศไม่ได้เป็นเพื่อนกับเราหรือรัฐบาลต่างประเทศไม่รู้ไม่มีความชํานาญการด้านนั้นหรือรัฐบาลต่างประเทศไม่ไม่ไม่ตอบสนองที่รวดเร็วดังนั้นจะเกิดความยุ่งยากอันนี้เรื่องที่2จะยากที่สุดนี่กำจัดที่3ก็คือว่าการหา Q s w i t c h Q s w i t c h มันกับพอปุ๊บเมื่อกี้เราเห็นแล้วเว็บไซต์นี้เป็นยังไงแล้วก็ไปกําจัดปิดช่องทางมันโอเคเนาะเข้าใจแล้วเนาะโอเคครับ let's go okay so we talk last week or this week about botnet and you can see botnet is big problems uh, you know for cyber crime cyber criminal so uh, you individual are at risk like we say your router can be hacked but organization are also at risk this means the royal Thai police Military, government, anything big company, they need special protection. So botnet are a big problem, but there are many more. There's hacking, there's the stealing of data. You know, uh, Royal Thai Police has many sensitive data. You know uh, who they arrest, where they arrest. Uh, a lot of information that criminal would like for blackmail. So, in order to avoid cyber crime you need two things you need capable leader leader that knows what cyber security is from high level view from point of view who can guide cyber security strategy who know who can think in the future this is what's going to happen and this is what happened now and this is what we need to do and plan it but also technical leader so person who know how to use cybersecurity tool, who know how to defend against cybersecurity using computer tool. So this person who plan and this person who do, both very important. So this is our idea. Cyber Security Police Academy. กันก็คือการป้องกันน่ะการป้องกันอาชญากรรมในงานตํารวจใช่ไหมมันก็จะมีได้2ทางถูกปะทางแรกคือการที่เป็นคนออกออกนโยบายออกนโยบายหรือเข้าใจคอนเซปต์ต่างๆของอาชญากรรมแล้วก็เพื่อจะได้เป็นผู้บังคับบัญชาแล้วก็ไปบริหารได้หรือไม่ก็บุกรายงานกับหัวหน้าคุยกับหัวหน้าหรือก็หาเทคนิชเชนคนอื่นมาช่วยงานไอเดียที่2คือการที่เราเองน่ะเป็นคนที่สามารถแฮกได้ป้องกันระบบได้จรกรรมข้อมูลได้เพื่อเพื่อโจมตีกลับหรือป้องกันการโจมตีได้ดังนั้นมันจะมีสองไอเดียเดี๋ยวเราลองมาดูไอเดียกันไอเดียนี้ที่เขาบอกคือชื่อว่า Cyber Security Police Academy หรือว่าเป็นมากับสถาบันที่ทำให้ให้ตำรวจมีความรู้ความสามารถในการไปป้องกันปัดปามอาชญากรรมทางคอมพิวเตอร์ได้ทางไซเบอร์ได้ครับ So idea is to have two track business track technical track each police cadet can choose their own path and is optional <clears throat> and if you're interested in cybersecurity and want to create elite cybersecurity in Royal Thai Police, then this is the right way. Okay, let let me try to ask them before we we move inside this topic. Okay, so yeah. I want to know their pre-understanding. Okay, let me end. ทุกคนในคลาสนะครับครูจะถามว่ามีให้เลือก2 track track แรกคือ track ที่เข้าใจวางกำหนดนโยบายเป็น leader ด้าน cyber cyber security ได้กับ track ที่2คือ track ที่เป็นคนที่สามารถ hacking ป้องกันระบบได้แบบนี้นักเรียนสนใจอยากเรียนรู้ track ไหนมากกว่ากันถ้าเกิดสนใจด้านแรกกด1สนใจด้านที่2กด2ด้านแรกก็เหมือนกับที่เราเรียนไปคาบที่แล้วคาบนี้ให้เข้าใจระบบว่าจะป้องกันยังไง track ที่2คือเราต้อง
้องสามารถเจาะระบบได้รู้ได้เองงุ้นอย่างนี้ได้อ่านักเรียนสนใจแบบไหนหนึ่งหรือสองกินมาทุกคนนะอยากรู้ในห้องนะครับอ่านัทการนัทนัทการพิมพ์หนึ่งนัทนนพิมพ์หนึ่งเนาะ Looks like this class is almost all technical. Yes, after after they learn from you today, they may change or they may all change hundred percent to track two. That was very very different from last class. But no, this class is maybe lack of logical. I see. Let's see. <laughs> you know, I told you this class is naughty. The student in this class is very naughty. I see. Ah, so yeah, hong ni ja. ชอบแท็กสองกันเนาะอ่ะอยากเป็นแฮกทำไมอ่ะเดี๋ยวขอดูสักคนสิอ่ะศัทธากรทำไมเลือกแท็กสองครับศัทธาท่านเห็นไหมครับครับเห็นเห็นเพื่อนเรื่องเยอะครับเลยเลือกตามเพื่อน because he saw p he saw his friend choose this เพราะเพราะมันน่าสนใจทั้งคู่ครับผมตัดสินใจเลือกอย่างใดอย่างหนึ่งไม่ได้ครับเลยเอาส่วนใหญ่เป็นหลักดีกว่าครับ They both, they both, these two both, these two texts are interest, are interesting. So that okay, he just follow his friends. Okay, I could, I could. Why you choose two? I'm interested in technical more than I'm doing business. He's more interested on technical. He thought, he thought that he's not good for business. This is not 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 business. อยากตอบแตกต่างอย่างเพื่อน He want to answer difference from friends Is t h e s o t i c a l รัฐการ Why is track one ผมว่าคือมันน่าจะแบบช่วยเอ่อช่วยช่วยคนได้มากกว่า And this seem to be more reasons like he told he thought track one is can help more people than track two Okay Yes uh, I mean uh, As they, let's explain to them. Let's see what they think after. It's going to be interesting. Okay. After we scare them with technical. Okay. Okay. We're going to go through the technical and technical. How do they think? How do they think? How do they think? Let's go through it together. So, what is business struck? The idea is to teach high-level cybersecurity to interested cadet. The lecture and discussion be similar to the one we had here. So more high level, more explanation. You don't need technical knowledge. And cadet will come out of the course knowing how to manage cybersecurity, how to plan cybersecurity, how to look in the future and see what is needed, and basic understanding of how to protect Royal Thai Police. So this is for future leader, for people who are interested in planning, in becoming police leader in cybersecurity, in you know, uh, understanding how to prepare for the future and what to do now, and how to plan all of that. The first one is to teach the concept and to plan to be a plan to plan the plan to plan the plan to plan the plan. So, then we have technical track. <coughs> Technical track is to teach attack and defense. The lecture and discussion will be more technical, not like the one we had here. You'll be you'll learn how to use command line, Plus learn how to use tool, command line for attack and defense. There's a lot of exercise, practical exercise you can do in your own computer. Uh, you have more homework, also. There's no technical knowledge required. However, the more you know, the easier it will be, and you need to study harder. So the cadet will come out of this course knowing how to defend police network, how to manage, implement, and use cybersecurity tool. They also learn the basic of hacking, just to understand how to defend against hacker. This is for cadet that wish to be technical expert. They used to be a uh, hunting hacker, finding out hacker, and arresting hacker, and knowing also how to protect police network against hacker. 
อันที่2ก็คือมันกับเรียนการโจมตีต่อสู้มันกับเรียนการรู้ระบบแฮกแล้วก็เพื่อป้องกันระบบครับสำหรับ these two track then you know let's see what you think about this at the end now let's go back to the beginning Protect yourself. So this is because last week you had a lot of question about this. So let's talk first before how to protect Royal Thai Police. First, we talk how to protect yourself online. Okay, basic of online safety. Do not trust information or requests from a known site. Be careful when you visit porn site, torrent site. Software piracy, etc. There's a lot of malware there. Mm -hmm. Do not enter credit cards, bank login detail on unknown site. Do not share your personal data unless absolutely necessary, only with known site. Do not give your name. Do not give your address. Do not give your date of birth. Do not store password in text. On your mobile phone and computer, and keep phone, tablet, computer with antivirus and security update. And yeah. And finally, make sure that your family and loved one, like a younger brother, or younger sister, uh, parent, grandparent, uh, uncle, auntie, they follow all these steps. อ่าอย่างอย่างขั้นตอนนี้ก็คือวิธีการง่ายที่สุดคือการเหมือนกับให้ทุกคนเข้าใจใช่ไหมเช่นแบบอย่างพวกเวลาใจคุณไปดูหนังโป๊แบบนี้ก็ระวังอย่าเข้าไปโหลดมั่วตัวหรือเวลาหรือเวลานัทนนไปใช้บิตทอเรนแบบเนี้ยก็โหลดอย่าโหลดบิตทอเรนเพราะมันจะเอาไวรัสเข้ามาหรือธนาการเข้าไปไปโหลดเว็บซอฟต์แวร์เถื่อนก็ระวังนะครับอืมนัทการก็ต้องบอกพ่อแม่ด้วยนะว่าต้องเปลี่ยนชื่อเปลี่ยนรหัสเปลี่ยนพาสเวิร์ดหรืออย่าให้ข้อมูลเครดิตการ์ดอะไรแบบนี้นี่คือวิธีการทั่วไปปัญหาคือคนส่วนใหญ่ไม่ไม่ได้ทำตามทั้งที่รู้แล้ว so we will go through each of this uh, in more detail so first don't trust information or request from a known site some site will ask you to download and run program on computer never do this if a site asks you to download and run something it is malicious site Only exception is if you are downloading Zoom, Skype, Firefox, etc., to run on your computer, and you download from this website, from the own website. On your phone, only install application from Apple Store or Google Play Store. Don't use third-party store; they are insecure. And be very careful when installing uh, app, even from App Store. So this just example. We're not going to read it, but it show how a malicious app installed from App Store can use to steal money. So be very careful what app you install on your mobile phone. คือเวลาเวลาเราโหลดแอปดูดีว่าแอปพร้อมแอปพร้อมแอปเถื่อนใช่ไหมบางทีมันถ้าเป็นแอปพร้อมที่มาจากลิงก์ที่ไม่ถูกต้องอ่ะเป็นลิงก์ที่แบบเป็นเหมือนโทรเลนเนี่ยข้างบนคือแอปถูกมันก็จะมาจากแอปสตอร์เข้ามา PC ซีไอจูก็เข้ามาเครื่องเราถ้าเกิดอันล่างเห็นไหมเป็นเป็นเป็นจากเว็บเถื่อนอ่ะที่ไปเอาแอปดาวน์โหลดกันที่เข้าไปอ่ะก็จะเป็นแอปเถื่อนที่โพไวต์ก็ผ่านแฮกเกอร์แฮกเกอร์ก็แผงอยู่ในเนี้ยแฮกเกอร์ก็จะดึงข้อมูลเราก่อนที่จะเข้ามาคอมเรามันก็จะผ่านเซอร์ไพรส์คอมพิวเตอร์คอมพิวเตอร์คนที่สามมาเข้ามาเครื่องเครื่องเราดังนั้นเครื่องเราจะโดนแทร็กเลยจะโดนใช้โอเค so be very careful when you go to porn site gambling site software piracy torrent very careful because they contain virus malware spying so never put any personal information like your name on them and never download anything 
and use your browser in private mode. This will help you a bit, but won't protect you against malicious activity. So unknown sites, be very careful with your bank login detail with your credit card. Do not put any information unless you're buying from Shopee, Lazada, a known site. If a known site, sometime, you know, you see Lazada has something for 5,000 baht, and then you find another site with 500 baht. That's usually a scam. So be careful, buy from known site always. And if you think maybe you put credit card or banking detail on wrong site, call the bank, tell them what happened, and they can help you and in monitor your account and cancel the credit card so that you don't get money stolen. Personal information, date of birth, name, address, some site ask you for it. Maybe some free online game. They say you want to play, you put the bird, you put name, your address, you can play. Never give them this information. Make up fake name, make up fake address. It's not illegal and make you safer online. Of course, exception are trusted sites, Lazada, Shopee, government site, etc. But if you don't need to provide, just make a fake one. Don't put your real one. Password security. We'll talk more about this. But do not write password on notes. Do not write password on computer or mobile phone. You should use password manager like LastPass. So I show you here how it works. Uh, this is LastPass. LastPass, remember all passwords for every device. So you can install LastPass on computer, you can install LastPass on a mobile phone. And LastPass, remember your password. So you only need to pick one password and then the rest LastPass knows. So this way you can have different password. You can have more secure password for each site have different. This make you more secure. Let's say you have one password on Facebook and then you have another for Lazada or Shopee. If you use the same password, if Lazada gets hacked, then they know your Facebook password. But if you use different password on Facebook, Lazada, other site, then if one site get hacked, then your password is safe on other site. So password should be long should be secure. Don't put your name, don't put your nickname on the password. Should have at least 10 character with number and special character. Later, I will show you how hacker can crack password. This is for later. So keep device updated at all time. So enable automatic security update. So this, I can show you here, for example, iPhone, you have, and on Android, you have security updates. So see here, automatic update on, always. Same in Android, same in all device. Here. So, Use antivirus on your computer, especially. You can buy one, it's 500 baht, it's cheap. For one year, 500 baht, keep you safe. Kaspersky, AVG, etc. On your phone, do not jailbreak, do not root your phone. Because if malware get in, they can have total control. And also the phone might stop receiving security update. Some Samsung phone do not receive security update after routing. So be careful. And do not use your work laptop or computer to access non-work site, especially any dangerous site. So if you have access to police computer, do not access 
Facebook or any other site on police computer. Use your mobile phone. And finally, as we discuss, keep an eye on what your parent, older relative, younger relative are doing. And most people, they have no idea how to keep safe online. And it's your job to make sure older parents, younger brother are safe. So teach them this rule, enable automatic update, use antivirus, do not let them go to site that is dangerous. Any questions? Uh, no. Okay, let's move no. on. Yeah. So now let's talk how to protect the Royal Thai Police. So remember, even if you are in high position, you need to take care of yourself. And even if you are in low position, you need to do your job to keep everyone safe. So everyone must follow the rule. Everyone must do their part. If everyone has the rule that we just discussed in their mind, they can make the Royal Thai Police much safer. So now let's talk how to protect the Royal Thai Police. First, we'll look at case study, police that got, ha got hacked. And we'll talk about parameter security, workstation security, and sensitive data. So let's talk about this. This case study, this is the hack in 2016 of police union. This is Catalan police from Spain. They were hacked in 2016. So Catalonia is state in Spain. The union website, Police Union, was hacked in 2016 by known hacker, Phineas Fisher. The attacker used SQL injection, which is technical attack to obtain database. He obtained database containing information about police staff, where they live, how much money they make, and who are their family. The attacker was never caught. And here you have the full video of the hack, which I will show you. You can watch the video later. So this video show all the hacker technique the hacker used to attack the police. So here you can see hacker using hacking tool. And they attack the website of police union. This is website of police union. So they are attacking the website using hacking tool. These are the hacking tool the hacker used. This is 40 minutes showing all the tool the hacker use and attacking the police website is criminal activity. Here you can see more hacking tool. So it's long video, I'm just gonna show, see hacker using command line tool to attack hack website, obtain data. And finally, hacker install backdoor like botnet on website. So they have access to it.
You can see this video later if you're interested. This is a real hack, like the one we just discussed. This was the hacker that filmed. I send you the video on chat. So let's go back to. So why the why the hacker uh, uh, hack the police and then take the video? So he did not like police in direction. It was like a political attack. But what if the hacker was criminal? Maybe he's part of mafia. So he could blackmail individual police to perform criminal action. He could threaten the family of police officer. He could steal confidential information about police case and then use to win in legal court. So now let's talk. Any questions so far? If not, we move on. So now we, you saw how botnet worked. You saw how police website can back, get hacked. So now the question is how to protect. First, let's talk about parameter security. So what is parameter? So in police network, you have normal police computer, but you also have website, right? Website sit on perimeter. This is part of the computer network that face outside. This is part I use. I'm not police, but I can go to police website, right? So like video we, we saw, the hacker attack perimeter. He attacked police website. So perimeter security is done by doing vulnerability scan. This is trying to find something before hacker does. Also keeping all external facing server like website updated and isolating the two network, parameter network and the core network. And then also monitoring acti activity, keeping an eye on what's happening and see if you have anything suspicious. If you can notice hack. And here is example of what I mean. So here is protected network, core network. Here is perimeter network where website is. And this is me accessing it. And this is maybe another police department. So you see the core protect network is different than the perimeter network. And there's protection here, protection, protection. And also there's more protection for someone like me who is not part of police coming from outside. Me, I have to go through protection and I can only access perimeter network, but I cannot access core network. And communication between perimeter network and protected network should be very little. So this is just to show you a way to break network in perimeter network, which is less safe and protected network, which is more safe. If you do this, Maybe hacker, like we see, attack perimeter network, but they cannot get data from police because it's protected. You understand? So maybe you can hack this network, but you cannot hack this one because they are separate. Question? You understand? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, is perimeter network uh, like a firewall? Uh, so the firewall, so the perimeter network is where website is, okay? And protected network is where police computer is. And the firewall is between. So firewall is here, see? And firewall is here. So there are two firewall. There's one firewall for someone going to perimeter network. 
and there's another firewall for someone going to par from parameter to protected. So parameter is not firewall. Parameter is like website, uh, like thing that, for example, me, I'm not police, but I can still go to police website, right? So police website is parameter network, but firewall is between parameter network and police network. Firewall is here. This is firewall. So can, can you explain again, what is it parameter network? They might not understand because they might understand the protect network that is the important. So, uh, think of it like this, a parameter network is so, let's see if I can find something on the internet to explain. But okay, parameter network, may have. มันมันมันคือเหมือนเหมือนมันเป็นตัวกันไว้อีกชั้นนึงเหรอครับอ่าเมื่อกี้เหมือนที่เพื่อนถามว่าเมื่อกี้เป็นไฟวอลไหมม
uh, the hacking video. So here, the hacker was able to hack because there was no perimeter network. It was same. There was no border. So because there was no border here, hacker come in and take everything, hack everything. So some, some website, they do not have perimeter and this make them very easy to hack. Uh, so, so excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to who, who make parameter network. Uh, security in, uh, in, uh, it, in, so, uh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. No, no, go, go, please speak. Have a, Some some people in the uh, in in the police police have uh, some group for the make perimeter network or uh, well I don't know because I don't know how Royal Thai police work inside but if if they don't have they should have so this is what we discuss here technical track so uh, business track should know this and plan and technical track should be the one that create this create the perimeter and keep perimeter safe kiss me sir yep how how can i know uh, what if i have a, a perimeter anywhere uh you cannot from outside you cannot only if you try to hack it then you know if it's safe or not. Uh, from uh, if you're outside, you don't know. Only if you're inside. If you're inside Royal Thai Police, you know if Royal Thai Police has perimeter or not. Uh, you you need to ask IT, or you need to test. If you know technical track, then maybe you can find out. Yes, it mean that I I shall not go to a, a dark corner website. This this too. That you you cannot. I mean you you can, but you should you should be very careful when you go. Uh, because uh, you know, first of all, maybe illegal, and second, uh, everyone in dark web tried to hack you. So I have to be very careful in dark web. Yes, I, I, teacher, I, I hear that. Uh, I hear that from from Apple Store. He he told me that uh, Apple device is uh, have more security than than Android. This this true. Uh, not really. I mean, depend what kind of Android you have. If you have Samsung, if you have Huawei, uh, if you have Google phone, uh, is same. But if you have maybe cheap Android, is less safe. iPhone more safe than cheap Android. But if expensive Android, then same security. Samsung is good, Huawei is good. Uh, yeah, Apple is good too. I have a question when talk about Huawei. We first Trump tried to ban Huawei because he used he used the reason like Huawei five G modem, Huawei five G routers have detect detective reports the privacy information back to the Chinese government. What do you yep. think about any issue? Do you believe or not believe or any, any thought about? Um, so I think, so first of all, I have to say, I worked for Huawei before. Mm. So I was Huawei employee. 
So uh, I know how Huawei works inside. I don't think there's backdoor. Uh, I think Huawei has some product which is not very good. And this product does not have much cybersecurity. But this is true for anything, even Apple, same. So I don't think Huawei has backdoor. Uh, if they have backdoor, then uh, is put by Chinese government and Huawei does not know. Because think about if Huawei makes a lot of money, if everyone knows they have backdoor, no one buy. So I, I work in a smartphone division of Huawei and I work in cloud security right. and I know Huawei and I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but it's a big company, you know, maybe they have government agent infiltrated and government agent maybe from China do that. I don't know. Uh, but I think, no, I don't, I don't think Huawei is less secure than Apple, Samsung uh, or others. I think same. Because, okay, talking the political aspect, Huawei have more good have a really close connection with the Chinese government. Every all the business sector, all the big firm in China, they can be they can get they can become they become bigger because they have a good connections. So they should responsive to all the Chinese government needs. So okay, I do believe that as a, the, those business firms, they would not have that kind of selling privacy of the customer to another agencies, but because of i'm not sure either that's why i'm asking because they have yes. a connection with the chinese government if they don't responsive on that what they need yes so but one thing you have to understand is that uh, every government does it so american do it so you know cisco mm -hmm. uh cisco is huawei competitor so american government plant backdoor on cisco mm -hmm. so you know the the thing is if government it does not it is more like you is not like pick who's safe is more like pick who you want to hack you do you want the chinese to hack you or the american because you have no choice if you buy cisco american hack you if you buy huawei chinese hack you so that's why it is very important that you have all this security we're discussing is not one right it's not just parameter security you also have workstation security you have data security and you have people who know how to protect themselves, like we explained before. And everything together, even if Chinese government tried to hack you, American tried to hack you, if you have good technical staff and good cybersecurity leaders, you can stop them from hacking you. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> มีมีมีมีแฮ็กอะไรแบบเนี้ยที่เขาแบนหัวเว่ยเมื่อปีที่แล้วนั่นเองเคยได้ยินใช่ไหมก็สรุปคือว่าใช้ของอเมริกาก
because I don't think Huawei is putting backdoor uh, like Cisco is not. But US government, Chinese government, they are putting backdoor. Right. Okay. Understand? Got it, sir. Okay. Um, so this is why it's so important that you protect yourself and you protect Royal Thai Police. It does not matter if you have Apple or uh, Samsung or Huawei or Cisco. What matters is what you do with it. So let's talk about workstation security. So workstation are police computer used on day-to-day -day basis. This is what I mean, see? This is police computer, workstation, police computer, you know? So these computer, they have to be protected. So laptop, desktop, every computer should be managed by security IT team. Users should not have administrative right, install application, etc. And you should be careful what you do on your, your work computer, on your Royal Thai Police computer. And usually the more higher rank you are, the more protected you should be. Because it's better to hack major than to hack, you know, normal police. So, you know, all these computer need to be managed securely. For this, you need technician in data security. You need business leader that knows this is problem and can talk to higher police, you know, uh, and then tell them that they need to spend money, fix this. So they're not hacked by criminal, by foreign government. And then they need technician to implement countermeasure. Like we say, business truck, technical truck, you need both. So let's talk about data security. So like we say, you have police website. Police website, anyone can access, right? Data is public. You can go to the website, you can do whatever you want. But then you have private data. So police computer data on who was arrested, why they arrested, any case, etc. evidence. So the sensitive data, like we discussed perimeter, there should also be data perimeter. Some data should not be accessed from for everyone. Maybe some police officer can see something, other other thing. You should not be allowed and should never copy data and take it outside of a police network, as this might lead to criminal activity. So imagine, you know, that you have uh, maybe some mafia try to uh, threaten police, right? and force police to take evidence from police network and give to mafia. So this kind of criminal activity. And data should be monitored to ensure only authorized personnel can access. So there should be enforced by technical means, separation, so different data in different place, authentication, authorization, so only some people can access some data, not everyone access all data. And then this is technique to prevent it from get, getting uh, stolen. Uh, so that's it basically from the data security side. Just, I hope you take this idea that uh, I'm not inside the police, so I don't know what you are doing already. I think maybe you are already doing something like this. But, you know, it's always good to have more technical experts that understand the problem and then they can help make everything more secure. So, any question? If not, yeah. No. If not, I'm going to show you now why password is so important, having strong password.
so here control การการแบบลอง hack password ดูนะครับลองดูนะครับออกเป็น technician แล้วครับโซ่ฮีเอ๋อผมจะทดลองถ้าสมมติว่าฉันมีคำถามนี้นี่คือคำถามของผมเพดโรโอเคและนี่คือคำถามของผมที่เกิดขึ้นในเครื่องคอมพิวเตอร์เพราะว่าคุณไม่สามารถสแสดงคำถามแบบนี้ได้หรือว่าแฮกเกอร์จะสังเกตุและหาคำถามนั้นได้ So password is here, and this is my username. And now what we're gonna do is crack it. This is John, his password cracking tool. So let's try to crack password. You see, very quick, less than one second, it cracked the password. So now. Let's try and make it Pedro one two three four five. Long password, right? But still has name, my name, and username on it. So this is password encoded. This is username. And this is my password. And now we run crack. Very fast, less than one second. Okay. Now, let's try and make more secure. Let's try and add special character, like this. Change some letter. And add this character. So this is my password now. And now we run crack. And now it's going to take a long time. Why? Because we used to have simple password. See this password crack in less than one second. But this password now going to take much longer. So this is to show you how hacker can crack password easy, and why having such strong password is more important. You just change a little bit. It's still easy to remember, but it's harder to crack. So it just take a long time now to crack. So any questions? Did you understand? I think they got to remember. Kill them like that. I don't know, man. คือใช้พาสเวิร์ดให้มีตัวอักษรแล้วก็มีตัวใหญ่ตัวเล็กเป็นตัวเป็นเครื่องยากนะอ่าเห็นแล้วใช่ไหมความแตกต่างว่าม
the technical track is different. The technical track is for people who want to learn how to protect on day to day. They want to learn how to how hacker attack and what they can do to stop hacker. So after hearing this, how many of you still want to take technical track or business track? อ่าเดี๋ยวจริงๆคําถามเมื่อกี้เข้าใจแล้วเนาะว่าแท็ก 1 พิมพ์มาให้พิมพ์มาหน่อยตามได้ว่าเพราะอะไรครับสั้นๆนักเรียนอยากจะเลือกแท็ก 1 answering sure. and I'm asking why like asking which choice they are going to choose and why to recurse now ganwa to learn by self is the best Don't... okay good motivation I like it In you can try with in English because this is easier. You can try with an easy English and easy English. Yes. Tycoon One because I will be a leader in loyal type police and it have many duties such as law, clam, suppression. Oh that's, that's a good answer. I couldn't too. I like to learn by myself. Oh. Okay, good. No, maybe they. Okay, okay, Pedro. What is what? What do you understand about they? They can they can learn by themselves. Themselves. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure. Do you think they understood what we mean? I don't. I think maybe maybe they want to learn uh, technique. That's why. Mm. But that is that is not easy to learn by them. So yes, that is, that's is it. That click on cybersecurity or like technical IT, but that's not easy. But I, I, I can teach. But that's what technical track is is for them to learn. You know, just make sure they understand that it will be harder. You know, it will be much harder. I think technical track will be harder. And I think, like I said, out of one hundred students, maybe twenty, thirty will finish it, but those will be good. And yes, I, I agree. For me, two is more exciting. But the thing is, uh, one also very needed. I think Royal Thai Police need both. They need one and in two. So it's all about what is their interest, right? Is okay. no, they should not go to two because they think it's cooler. They should go to two if they are prepared to learn, and they should go to one if they want to have interest and understand how cybersecurity planning can be done. And both very important. No, I thought most of students tell like they can learn by themselves. I think they might understand wrong of the concept of number two. I will explain to them later. Uh, okay. I have I have one good I have one good point. Nathanon tell he want to learn number one because number two is risky for the side for the security of the nations, and if that is not that that the that learning need to go by the control of the government. Of the control of security, that is a good point. Yes, but then, uh, but this will be something that y you and I have to do in the background, right? I think it's something you need to talk to your leader to understand uh, if we can teach this technical track. Uh, also, and also maybe some students, you know, uh, if you think they are more dangerous, maybe they shouldn't take it. You know, you know what I mean, right? Right. Okay, luckily, uh, let me explain to them again for the track to maybe they understand everything can learn themselves. Yeah. Yeah. 
ว่ามันไม่ได้เรียนง่ายๆอ่ะไอไอไอไซเบอร์ไอไอการแฮกข้อมูลใช่ไหมแต่หมายความว่าแท็กสอนที่เขากําลังบอกว่าเรียนเดมเซลเดินด้วยยูเซลหมายความว่าน้องต้องใช้แรงแรงบันดาลใจส่วนบุคคลในการเรียนไม่งั้นมันจะยากต่อการเรียนรู้มันเป็นสิ่งที่ต้องใช้ motivation อย่างสูงเนาะที่อ่านมาเมื่อกี้เหมือนน้องๆจะเข้าใจเป็นว่าสามารถเรียนรู้ได้คือเรียนรู้ได้ตัวเองได้แหละครับแต่ว่ามันมันค่อนข้างยากมาก because they may need to use it in daily life in the future in my work or just hack for free wifi I don't <laughs> no but that's not good no no tell them that you know we're not g o i n g to teach them how to do criminal activity they are still police officer right ปฏิญญาปฏิญญาปฏิญญาไหนอธิบายหน่อยครับอ่ะ why do you need to study Why do you need to learn cyber hacking? Uh, in my case, I uh, well, let's just say that I in the past I also want to be a hacker working for yes. government. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. That's also why I wanted. Look, uh, uh, if you understand this, uh, maybe you you if you could translate to them, Tom, later. So. I also started in cybersecurity because I want to be hacker, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's exciting. Technical is exciting. You excite to be hacker, and of course you think you want to do hack website and everything and do criminal. But then, no, once no. You... no, no, no. Look, look, I this is this is me. I'm talking about me. So I, this is how I start. But then I don't do any criminal activity because once I learn, I realize that actually protecting is more interesting. And more important, you can make more money protecting than attacking as a hacker. So, you know, the motivation is still there. You still learn how to hack. You still know what hackers do. But in the end, you are a good hacker. You know what I mean? There's no need for criminal activity. Even for money, is not worth it. You can make more money in being good hacker than bad hacker. Well, people say that. Yep, sorry. Yeah. Well, people say that information worth more than gold. Mm -hmm. And so, if I can have some information about something that I'm interested in or maybe require for work, this would be good for my life, right? Yes, yes. Because also, if you think if you learn this skill, if you want to leave police force in 10 years or something. You can get job in private very easily, and Good. job that pay very well. Yes, cybersecurity job pay very well. And they pay a lot business. too. Can, yeah. can, Te can technical and business pay very well. Can Can I ask like about the pay that you have earned when you work in the in London? Maybe can give them inspirations. Uh, yes. <laughs> so where? Uh, this is in London, right? In London. Uh, When I was working there, I had maybe seven-year experience, mm -hmm. eight-year experience. I was making 1,000 euro per day. One so that's euro per day. Pond so that's 30,000 30, baht per day. You mean euro or pound sterling? Uh, uh, so I was being paid in euro because I, I was working for European company in mm -hmm. London. So I was paid 30,000 baht per day, but this is in London, of course, uh, is more. Uh, how many? How many per month? 20, 20 days or 30? Uh, yes, something like that. So maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. So uh, yeah, 600,000 per month. Something like that. I got the year that I สำหรับการเป็นไซเบอร์ซิเคียวิตสำหรับการเป็นแฮกเกอร์นักเรียนสนใจไหมครับเป็นปอนหรือเป็นบาทแล้วอาจารย์เป็นปอนหรือเป็นอะไรครับเป็นบาทแล้วครับแปลเป็นบาทคือประมาณเจ็ดแสนเจ็ดแสนห้าเจ็ดแสนห้าต่อเดือนเลยบอกว่าแฟนแอสติกี่สิ่งนำแฮปมอร์แอคทีฟแอคทีฟแอคทีฟแอคทีฟแอคทีฟแอคทีฟเลยสิ no but but look in in Bangkok Uh, with my experience, I have 10 year experience, right? Uh, 10, maybe a bit more, 12, 12, 13 year experience. In Bangkok, I can get job in True that pay 300,000 baht per month. That makes sense. 
it, because you can be a manager, so I think director, a manager. Yes. yes. So you can see pay very well. And this is technical job. Like Business if, job, pay, pay, pay same, you know. How, how is how is about if you choose to go for the track one, like business track, and if that is, is the pay lower or higher, or is that easier to get a job in in Thai? In, uh, I think it's easier to get job in technical track, mm. and I think you maybe earn more in the beginning, but I think in the end, if you uh, for you know if you want to be to earn the most money. You should take the technical track, get technical job, and then move to business job later. So for me, I love technical job. So uh, I like to stay in technical job. But if uh, my interest was make the most money with my experience, 10, 15 year, I would be in business track already. Mm. So if you can do both, start in technical and then go to business, you are best. But if you can just do one, like me and like technical is okay. Or if you just want to do business. But let, let them think about this salary, you know, in, like I say, in Bangkok, 300,000 per month you can get with 10 year experience. Hmm. That, that, that makes sense because, because most of the first job, most of the, like maybe like few, few years, two, three to five year experience job offer at PwC in Thailand is around 100 to 200,000 baht. Okay. ตอบตอบตอบที่ได้ที่แบบอย่างโพลิสันในไทยคือดูซีโพนี้ที่พี่เคยได้ก็ประมาณเออเริ่มต้นนะก็แสนถึงแสนถึงสองแสนช่วง
like meeting Pedro. And then in the future, we are planning. I'm not sure what is the track or what is the course in courses in the future. May, we may offer for our students, but we need to see how is that fit. And because we are working for the police, I just talked to my student the last part earlier. Like I, I try to insert a lot of information apart, like additional, addi more more than more than the curriculums and maybe some in the future, some superintendent or some commander look at me and they will say like, why I just, not just focusing on the old traditions? It still have a lot of people in my organization. So it made me feel, yeah. I understand, but then you could, uh, I think the alternative is to have, because you need cybersecurity unit inside police, right? You need it. Uh, if you already have it, you need more people because everyone needs more people in cybersecurity. So maybe you need to be kind of special add-on course or something separate from normal curriculum, you know, mm -hmm. like a specialization. You know, I, I'm sure you have special specialty, right, when you have the course. So maybe you can have cybersecurity specialty. Let me try to work on it too because most of, some of them are old tradition now, of course. And I understand. So that not we work with him. It's made me feel like, oh my god, what? I understand. I understand. But you know, it's for their own safety, and 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 honestly, it's for the safety of the country. You know, uh, there are many cyber criminal only getting worse, and they're going to start attacking police, and they're probably already attacking, and you don't know. So it's for the safety of police and the safety of Thailand. Mm, okay. ไม่มีขอตัวแทนตอนหน่อยครับพูดขอบคุณอาจารย์หน่อยครับแอมครับตัวแทนตอนครับอืมตัวแทนตอนไม่มีเลยเหรอครับตอนนี้เอ่อโ
แล้วบางคนมันเราก็ไม่ได้ส่งให้ใครอ่ะบางทีก็เห็นมีคนเข้ามาเรียนคลาสเราโดยที่เราไม่ได้บอกอ่ะอืมได้ครับใช่แล้วเขาไปโดมีวิกิด้วยนะครับอาจารย์อะไรนะครับไปโดมีวิกิพีเดียด้วยครับเขาบอกว่าไงอ่ะโอ้เขามีหลายอย่างเลยครับอาจารย์เขามีทั้งลิงก์อินเมื่อกี้ที่เขาให้มาแล้วก็มีอินสตาแกรมแล้วก็วิกิพีเดียผมไปดูมาครับอแต่มันเป็นภาษาภาษามันเป็นภาษาอะไรนะครับอาจารย์ภาษาเขามาจากกรีกอ่ะคําถามต่อมาภาษาแบบเนี้ยครับกรีกอีกต่อมาก็คือเดี๋ยวเรานักเรียนตอนนี้นะจะไม่ได้เรียนในเนื้อหาใช่ไหมนักเรียนต้องไปเรียนในครึ่งชั่วโมงแรกของที่อาจารย์จะอัพให้นะเข้าใจไหมเดี๋ยวจะหาว่าสอนเนื้อหาไม่ครบถูกเปล่าเดี๋ยวจะโดนเป็นเรื่องอื่นมาอีกว่าเดี๋ยวอาจารย์มาสอนเรื่องนอกขอบเขตไม่ใช่เรื่องในตารางเรียนโอเคนะนักเรียนทุกคนรับทราบไหมเนี่ยทราบครับอาจารย์ทราบครับเป็นหน่อยจะได้เป็นหลักฐานได้ว่านักเรียนทุกคนได้รับแอสไซเมนต์แล้วนะว่าสอนแล้วนะโอเคนะครับแล้วก็เรื่องที่สามเหมือนตอนที่แล้วเรามีแบ่งกลุ่มให้ในเรื่องที่จะทำอ่ะมันจะมีเรียกว่าเป็นเป็นโครงการมันที่เรียนเรื่องจัดการจัดทําโครงการจะให้นักเรียนไปดูในวอกในในวิดีโอนั่นแหละครึ่งชั่วโมงแรกของของของที่จะอัพให้ว่าการจัดการทำโครงการคืออะไรและแบ่งต่อแบ่งเป็นกลุ่มกลุ่มนี้ก็จะมีเป็นตอนนั่นแหละตอนนี้ก็จะเป็นตอนหนึ่งตอนสองเนาะกลุ่มหนึ่งเอามาหนึ่งโครงการอยากจะให้เป็นโครงการเกี่ยวกับพวกเรื่องไซเบอร์ซิเคียวริตี้ไซเบอร์คลาสนี่แหละที่กําลังเรียนมาให้ไปจัดทําให้ไปจัดทําแผนโครงการมาแล้วจะมาดูว่าตอนไหนดีกว่ากันสี่ตอนเดี๋ยวจะอาจารย์จะส่งรายละเอียดเพิ่มเติมไปให้นะครับโอเคไหมโอเคนะครับแล้วก็ที่เหลือก็วันนี้ก็โอเคแล้วไปทันข้าวกันได้ครับแล้วส่วนใครอยากเรียนภาษาจีนอะไรก็ทักมาได้นะอาจารย์ก็แนะนําทุนอะไรให้ได้อใครอยากเรียนทุนอยากได้อะไรก็ทักมานะครับก็ธนาคารครับอยากให้เป็นกําลังใจเนี่ยไออินเตอร์โพที่น้องอยู่อ่ะมันเป็นฉากสิงคโปร์สิงคโปร์อินเตอร์โพของสิงคโปร์เขาเน้นด้านไซเบอร์ซิเคียวริตี้ไซเบอร์คลามมันจะมีรูส่วนใหญ่ที่ลีอองที่ฝรั่งเศสอันนั้นจะเน้นด้านแบบด้านคลามทั่วไปแต่ว่าที่สิงคโปร์จะเน้นด้านนี้ดังนั้นเพื่ออยากไปทําที่นั่นแล้วน้องอยากได้งานที่นั่นงานที่นั่นเงินเดือนเริ่มต้นสองแสนอืมน้องก็ต้องดูด้านนี้ที่เอาเรื่องนี้มาให้มันคือเทรนด์ของโลกอ่ะอย่างจริงจริงพี่ก็ได้รับออฟเฟอร์เงินเงินเดือนสองแสนมาสองปีที่แล้วให้ไปทําของดีแท็กแล้วก็ก็ไม่ไปอ่ะก็เคยเล่าให้ฟังแล้วนี่คราวนี้ก็ไม่ไปเออนั่นแหละแต่เอาเราก็เอาคนดีๆมาสอนให้น้องรู้เผื่อว่าอนาคตน้องจะเปลี่ยนอะไรก็เลือกดำเนินชีวิตเองแค่นั้นเองนะครับแล้วก็อาจจะมีคอร์สเรื่องสุดท้ายคืออาจจะมีคอร์สให้แต่ว่าพี่ไม่แน่ใจว่าจะเป็นคอร์สที่อยู่ในหลักสูตรของโรงเรียนหรือว่าเป็นคอร์สที่ใช้เวลาข้างนอกของน้องเองเพราะว่าการที่ทําอะไรเกี่ยวกับราชการเราเราไม่ค่อยชอบเท่าไหร่เพราะเดี๋ยวจะมาจับระเบียบเยอะแยะเราไม่ค่อยชอบเราเห็นแล้วเราอึดอัดเดี๋ยวดูแล้วกันเดี๋ยวครูเดี๋ยวครูลองดูว่ามีวิธีไหนที่ทําได้บ้างแล้วเดี๋ยวจะมานําเสนอว่าใครจะมาสนใจได้บ้างนะครับอืมโอเคก็อยากให้น้องปีสองปีเนี้ยเตรียมตัวให้พร้อมแล้วก็ยังเหลือเวลาอีกสามปีก่อนจบได้ครับพักผ่อนครับวันนี้สวัสดีครับ